Introducing YouTube Simulator number four. And guys, as we can see over here, we have the shop. And uh, notice how there's only five of each guy in comparison to the original YouTube simulators that had a lot of guys. Well, guys, the reason for that is because this is only the beginner shop. And throughout the map, there's going to be a lot more shops. Down here on the bottom, we have the two buttons as usual. On here is the menu. We got the bag, which displays all of our bag items. And whenever we click one of our bag items, it opens up the item viewer, which includes a header with the icon, the name, and the amount, as well as the description. And then right here, if the item is usable, it'll have a use button or whatever. But if it's something like that's not like you can't like just use it like that, it'll say can't use this right now. And now we can go back just like that. All the buttons are also very optimized so that it only shows it on the screen if it's inside the viewer so like every button that's like below this clipped area is not in the game right now like it's just deleted you can even see the buttons loading in as we scroll the little animation is just for aesthetics if we wanted to we could remove that animation and you would not even be able to tell that they're loading in as we're scrolling but yeah over here on the left we got all of our pets and these are all albert stuff and these are just i was using these for testing to select one of our pets we just select it like that and it'll go blue and move to the start of our list also guys you know how in pet simulator x you can hover over one of the pets with your mouse to view the pet's information well guys there is a huge problem with this because for mobile users it's just it's so jank it's so like bro like oh my god let me let me actually hop on the game super quick so i can so i can look at this bro okay so over here we got our pets okay okay and let's say we wanted to view its information okay lucky cat brownie okay so guys if we hover and then we take our finger off it presses the button like what the heck like like dude how could you solve this what would you do to solve this so i've been thinking about that a little bit and what i have in mind is a system for buttons on mobile devices so here's what i'm thinking you click the button to equip it you click it and hold down for more than 0.3 seconds it'll cancel the click and show the information after that you can let go of it and the information will still be on the screen when you're not holding down the next time you press on the screen it'll go away so that's what i'm thinking for that but anyways when we equip our pets in youtube simulator 4 they are equipped and then they follow us around and guys this pet system although it's similar to the one in youtube simulator z and the recent game by my guy it is a little bit different not gonna lie i kind of like the one from by my guy and youtube simulator z a little bit better but i may modify this one to be a little bit more smoother because right now it just looks a little bit weird i don't know what it is about it but it just looks a little bit weird you feel me if we want to delete our pets we can click the delete right here do not mind the shadow right here i forgot to make it disappear but when we go into delete mode we can select each pet to select Select it for deleting and then if we want to delete it we would press the exclamation point and then yeah as usual we can edit videos like normal look at this we place our computer here and we have our chair here and we can edit like normally and the money will actually fly over to the side of our screen and increase whenever we edit the money also bends in the direction that it's falling like real gravity so it's super realistic as well but yeah that is all for the most recent updates on youtube simulator 4 don't forget to subscribe to indie university where i will teach you all of the best hacks for making games in roblox as well as how to script goodbye